reason why I joined hygiene be is because I wanted people to feel exactly how I felt. Because there was this one hygienist that cleaned my teeth. I felt amazing afterwards. And I just wanted to like do that for other people. Good morning, you guys. Today, I'm going to go to an office that is like 64 miles away. Girl, I'm only doing this for the overtime, okay? Because the overtime will be good. Um, yeah, I just... I, accepted the job i knew it was kind of far away but i didn't think it i thought it was like you know 40 but 60 like i've gone 60 miles and it was like once and i was like never again but because of the overtime i'm doing it and yeah i'm gonna get there so this is my i'm supposed to get there at 7 30 i'll get there at 708 so let me let me hit the road the sun's barely out but uh, i'm gonna the reason why i could so yesterday was an interesting day. Um, the office that I tempted at, I didn't want to record yesterday because I was just not feeling well. Like I had, you know, my monthly um, gift from God. So I just didn't feel like filming. But throughout the day, I felt like positive. Like I, I was surprised because I was just feeling very like, you know, not myself. Um, so I didn't want to film. That's why I didn't start today off filming. Um, but it was a great day because I ended up in an office that had a lot of um, Haitian people. And you know, I'm Haitian. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm Haitian. So I love giving back to my community. And like, I, I just, I, I like it. I like when I find um, Haitian patients because I can educate them. Because in Haiti, we're not given that privilege of like having a hygienist teach us how to take care of our teeth so i'm always very happy to do it um for my people you know i do it for everybody but it means a lot to me when i can communicate to a person who does not speak english and give them what they would not have otherwise been given if it was someone else that couldn't speak their language properly. I know you guys know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's very special to me um, because I'm from Haiti and I was not given that, and it it just it resonates with me when I can give it to somebody else. You know, I love that. So today I'm going to an office that's completely like far out of my reach. I'm doing it for the dollar, okay? <laughs> like because you know I used to work for Lyft and Uber. I'm sorry if, it's, if the camera is shaking. I used to work for a Lyft and Uber and I would drive like maybe a hundred miles per day. And I was thinking about going that far because I did it once before and I didn't um, I didn't like it coming back because the traffic was heavy. I literally spent two hours in traffic coming back. But I was like, you know what, this is gonna be worth it because I'm getting overtime pay. So I might as well just do it. Um, because when I used to work for Lyft and Uber, oh my, it, it wasn't that bad because it got me um, very comfortable working with strangers because when I was in hygiene school um, I was doing Lyft and Uber and the thought of me seeing someone like seeing a stranger and just jumping in their mouth and talking to them and being comfortable with them kind of scared me but I still wanted to do it so I thought to myself I should apply to work for Lyft and Uber I actually did Lyft and Uber because I really needed the money I didn't have a car so I had to um, rent, I rented out a car with this company that was working with Lyft and Uber. So I rented out the car and I tried it. I'm like, you know what? It's not that bad. At first, it was very scary for me. I'm like, oh my God, there's a stranger coming in the car and I have to talk to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I that was my thought process because I'm an introvert. I'm not a, okay. I okay. I can be an introvert at times. I it just like I just gotta turn it on and off. Like I have to really try to turn the introvert button off so I could just be myself and not be so awkward um, so yeah I tried the company out and it was good but there was this other company this other um, ride share company that really helped me out if if I didn't use that platform I don't know what I would have done because that car was expensive and I was just trying it out so I tried it out and it was good So and, and then I got this car and then I was able to like work for Lyft and Uber and pay some of it off which was great like I was saying 
working for Elizabeth Burke got me very comfortable with working in a person's mouth because not only I was used to having conversations with strangers, but now it became second nature to me to just start a conversation with people who I'm trying to make them feel at ease. Because when somebody jumps in your car, um, I'm trying to make them feel, well, most people, like you can just read, read their vibes. If they're introverts, perfect. They don't talk to me. I don't talk to them. I just do my right. But if they're extroverts and they want to talk to you, also perfect because they also help me get out of my comfort zone and start talking to people because it helps me do my future job. Like back then, I was thinking like, I want to be a hygienist. I'm, I need to do this. I need to make people feel comfortable. You know, like it wasn't something that I wanted to do, but it was something that I really want, like needed to do in, in order to grow. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, it really helped me. I started driving for living Uber, and then I got really comfortable. Now I'm very comfortable talking to people, talking to strangers, and making them feel comfortable. If they don't want to talk, it's fine too because the introvert in me understands. If they want to talk, I can also do that because I was, I was, you know, I got a lot of practice. So yeah, it works either way. I don't take anything personal. You know, I used to take things personal when I initially studied hygiene um, as a career because you know people see your face, they think. Because like a lot of practices, the hygienists have been there for like 20 plus years. And when they see someone new, they don't like it because they want to predict the outcome. But with my, it has been my experience that every single time they've given me a chance, they've loved it. Like they genuinely liked how I clean their teeth. They, f they feel like amazing afterwards and they can't stop complimenting me. And I feel like it makes me feel great because that was my goal that was my uh, like that was what I was set out to do to just do that and make people the reason why I joined hygiene be is because I wanted people to feel exactly how I felt because there was this one hygienist that cleaned my teeth I felt amazing afterwards and I just wanted to like do that for other people I haven't seen the hygienist for a while like I went to, I went back to the dental office I think she like moved on and went somewhere else I don't know but <sighs> she was amazing she inspired like she was part of the reason why I became a hygienist definitely she because I, I just because of her I never understood why people were afraid of going to the dentist and then I went to hygiene school and learned about why you know what I mean because I didn't experience um periodontal disease so if you have periodontal disease your gums and like just the, the periodontium is gonna it's gonna hurt like if somebody touches it it's gonna hurt but I didn't have that you know back when I was younger I still don't but you know, I didn't understand it, so now I do. Um, yeah. So back to today. Today I'm gonna go to an office that is really far, um, but I'm doing it because it's not that bad. I used to work for Lyft and Uber, and I used to like drive for, for a really long time, the whole day, very uncomfortable. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do it, and I'll let you guys know how the experience is. Typically, I don't do far drives, but now, excuse me, I'm trying to get overtime. I will do it. It's not that bad. Lyft and Uber was not paying me that much. But the company that was paying me, the company that I joined, it was called, um, what was it? Fasten. It was Fasten. Fasten was the ride share company that really helped because they, they only took a dollar. Like Lyft and Uber takes like 20 to 30 percent at that time. Now they took like half of half of your money or like 70 percent of your money. They just give you like, you know, I don't know. But I don't drive for them anymore because of that. Um, but fasting, fasting definitely helped your girl out because they only took a dollar and I had most of my money, so I just drive for them. And at times they would pay me like um, 35 to like 40 ish something. Yeah, $25 to $40 per hour just to sit there and just wait for rides in a, in a particular hot spot. Sometimes that hot spot was not so hot, so you just sit there and not you, you didn't have anything to do. Me, I would bring my homework, sit there, get paid 30 to 45 you know, get paid to just do nothing because they asked me to stay in that spot. It was hot. That spot was like in Somerville because, you know, people would request rides. I don't know why, but for some reason, for some, some, some areas like they, they would just not I would not like at times I would get rights like I, most of the time I would get rights but sometimes I would just like sit there 
and just wait for rides and they would pay you 35 to 40 dollars per hour but that company didn't last i think it's it was i don't know where i think it it originated in um like russia i don't i don't remember exactly where but it was good okay it was really good um i wish a lot of people more uh, i wish a lot of people supported them more but it is what it is because if they were still around best believe i would still be writing for them <laughs> i'll write for them like they're right for me they're they're right for me hard like you know everybody who drove, who drove for them um so yeah yeah i'm gonna need to get a dash cam or something i can put right here for you so you guys can have like direct so you guys can see me directly but girl ooh. It's not that bad. No, I don't like driving long distance, but it's so ironic that I enjoy like solo road trip. Like I would drive from um from New York to to Canada. You know? You know, I, I, I like it's just like it's very therapeutic to me to just I mean it's good to do it with somebody too. I've done it with my cousin. Actually I drove from from Boston to Philly and then she had the audacity to ask me to help her drive from Philly to Canada like we wanted to go see our aunt in Canada so I drove from Boston to um, to Philly to go get her and she like that was that's like a seven hour drive with traffic just to be to ask me and to, she had the sub sorry I just came from work I just came from work too I just worked seven hours driving to you so don't ask me to um to drive to Canada like no you're driving I'm sleeping I need to sleep so you had all the time to pack and now you decided to pack last oh crap what is this like something happened over there oh boy maybe that's just the the atmosphere it just looks really cloudy um yeah but yeah i was just like no you're driving i gotta see all right okay yeah it's not happening so she drove um it was fun it was fun it was a fun trip but um yeah we're halfway through y'all we are halfway through i have 27 miles to go we had 62 now we're down to 27 okay almost there let you guys know when i get there you know, driving for Uber and Lyft really helped me become a really good traveling dental hygienist because I can get to my destination on time and I can plan. Following the GPS in Boston, woo, the roads are just not made for, you know, straightforward um, directions. It will tell you to, to, to keep left and there's like two different left lanes and then it's just very confusing. like. Like, if you do, if you learn how to drive in Boston, you're a G. I don't know. Like driving in New York, at least it's a grid. Boston, it's like because I got used to it doing doing it for Lyft and Uber and being confused all the time. Now it's straightforward when I'm doing it as a traveling dental hygienist. Can you imagine getting lost and trying to get to? Oh my God.
put it here. So I'm about to have lunch. So this morning I went in there to check to see. So this morning I went in to check to see. Yo, my my lunch is super hot. So this morning, I think it's just this person. Um, so this morning I went inside to check if they were open. I didn't think they were actually gonna be open by the time I got there. They were open, so I just walked in. Um, but I didn't tell you guys I got here. But the office is super. They're very nice. Everything. Everybody looks to be. It was a good. You guys, I'm having Haitian food for lunch. Oh my god. Tell me this. I feel like my food's not hot. Delicious. It was a good experience though. It's hot. It's really hot. Sorry if I look like a hot mess. <laughs> Today was really like two days just flew by. I didn't even have time to tell you guys I got here. And now I'm you leaving. Like I got in. Like I came in this morning. And I'm like, it's really early. I didn't hear. Let me just check. I went, the door was wide open. I'm like, okay, let me just go in. I walk right in, right? Hold on. I gotta make sure. Once I get the high, hold on. Let me get the let me get on the high. Okay, yeah. So I'm on the highway now. Today was a good day. Um, this morning started off like really, really fast. Um, I got there at like 7, 7, 10, and then I was supposed to be there by 7.30, but I got there early and then I, I went to just peek in to see if anybody was there and then they were like, yeah, coming in. And I just like grabbed my stuff and just went right in. And then, you know, I wiped down everything and turned on the um, evacuating system, air filter, and then um then i had my first patient came in and then you know second third i had like eight patients today and at the end cleaned up ran the line suction set up for the, the next day i don't know if they're working on saturday but yeah today went by really quickly and now i'm on my way home <laughs> it wasn't that bad like i sometimes cringe at the thought of driving more than like 20 miles but today was good like and I'm driving towards the side that doesn't have any traffic so that's awesome you know like I'm almost home usually it takes me about an hour to get home because I'm driving on a traffic free um, you know route I'm getting home at the same time or on the same time anyway but there's like more mileage on the car which I can claim on my taxes so it'll be, it's, it's all good you know um, yeah, I'm keeping track of my mileage. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I plan on doing more of these. Like, like the last time I went far away it was like, it, it was about 60 miles. But traffic on the way back was a headache. Like, I was just like, never again. But I'm glad I did it. I'm so glad I did it. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Not bad at all. And I'm, I'm also working tomorrow. Um, Like this week was kind of like a crappy week because I didn't vlog every single day I should have have I should have but um, like I was just not feeling up to part because you know this week I got my monthly gift so I couldn't um, like I didn't want to get on camera and be you know bitchy because <laughs> you know no, nobody wants to do that you know nobody wants to watch that I don't want to watch that so. I don't think anybody else does, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a good day. So, tomorrow, I'm going to a new office. I, it sounds like a familiar office. I don't think I've... I feel like I've been there, but I don't know. I've been to a lot of offices. Um, over, like... I've been to about... Well, I can't say I've been... About, like, I can't say exactly 
because I see my reviews, it's about like 225 reviews. It's, it has not been 225 offices because some of those offices have, have requested me over and over again. So I've been to a couple of offices more than once. So that's why I have like all these reviews. So, but I've been to a whole lot of offices in my state. Um, yeah, it was a good day. You know, I wanted to share something, but like I, sh I should write these things down. Every time I'm like, I'm in the, I'm in my operatory and I'm like, I'm in my, you know, room, um, my hygiene room. Some ideas come to mind. I'm like, this would be great for the vlog, but I keep forgetting. I need to write them down and as soon as I'm done and come here and like let you guys know. Because like a lot of great ideas come to mind and I just like, things that I, I would have liked to know when I was in school. But as soon as I'm done, it's just, I forget about everything. Because hygiene is so detailed. You have to remember a lot of things and then it just leaves little room for those little things that you wanted to remember and you, like the, I, th I think that's why my memory has kind of like faded because I used to have very very sharp memory until hygiene school happened and now everything in my head is just consumed by hygiene and I just forget about all the details that I want to remember so now I have like I usually carry around a little notepad with me I haven't done that I need to keep do I need to get back to doing that because it's very resourceful. Actually I have I have one that's at home. That's not where it belongs, it belongs in my pocket, right? Yeah. So I can keep so I can write down what I what I need to remember. That's what I need to do. Um and sometimes I write it in my phone but I need to have it with me. I like to write it down physically. So yeah, um driving home and yeah, that's it. That's it for today. If you guys have any questions just let me know. Today was good. Today was fun. Alright, bye guys.